Hello everyone, my name is Adam, or Epos Vox, and welcome to an OBS expansion tutorial to follow up on my original tutorial that I created. Now, in, that tu in the 10 minute tutorial, I went over everything having to do with OBS, and then I said that I would later expand on future subjects. And that's what I'm going to be doing in these videos. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to best make global sources work for your streaming and to set it up very efficiently. Now global sources, which you can access by this main button on the main screen here, clicking global sources. Global sources are basically a way to dedicate, to just set up a default template for basically any input you want on your stream. This can be images, video capture devices, your monitor, your webcam, anything like that. Now, why would you use this? Because otherwise, when you're creating multiple scenes that use the same input, you would have to keep recreating all the settings that you want to use for those devices over and over again, which can be quite the pain and lead to some incompatible settings or just inconsistent settings. So for example, we're going to create one from my main monitor here. We're going to go to add, add monitor capture. It's going to be main screen. Click OK, capture monitor, monitor one, that is my main monitor here. You can make one for your second monitor as well, which I normally do. You can change any settings you want here. Most of what you would change would be your mouse cursor and that's pretty much it for a monitor. Click OK, and suddenly you have main screen. Now if we create a scene, let's say this is monitor, and then we have a second scene that's monitor plus webcam in each individual scene instead of having to go to add monitor capture and set all that up I can just go to add global source main screen boom it's there and the same thing there in monitor plus webcam and it's already set up and it's going to be the exact same across both now we can do the same thing for webcams and other devices so we're gonna go back to global sources go to add video capture device let's call it C930E webcam. And then we're going to find my webcam. There it is. Logitech webcam C930E. This is this and for video capture devices such as capture cards are going to be when you really need this because these settings vary much more than monitor captures. Here I can set it to a custom resolution. It should already be at 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames a second. Disable the microphone on it. And you can do a lot of really cool stuff with it, including chroma keying. So you don't have to manually set up your chroma key every time you add your webcam. You can just add it once and be done with it. We go ahead and add that to the global sources, hit OK. And then for monitor plus webcam, we can also add the webcam on top of the monitor. And then if we preview the stream here, and then go to edit scene and resize it here, put it on top. Suddenly, it's set up really, really well. Now, one other use I would like to show you for global sources that will make your life much, much easier is going to be for image slideshow overlays. So we're gonna add a scene, monitor plus overlay, and then one more called monitor, I can spell, plus overlay slides. And this is how streamers get their on-stream stuff that has like their name and a little border and things like that onto their video streams. I'm going to go to global sources. We're going to add one. It's going to be an image. I'm going to call it overlay because that's typically what it's called as a stream overlay. And then you find your image. And again, you only have to do this once because you're setting it up as a global source, which will save you a lot of time in creating various stream setups, especially if you're doing them on the fly while streaming. We're going to use this Epos Hearthstone overlay that um, my friend Blizzard Ball made for me. We're going to get it open and then tell it OK. And then monitor plus overlay here. Actually, we're just going to do monitor plus overlay slide so I can show you all at once. So we're going to all using global sources, add global source, main screen. It's going to be my monitor. Add global source C930E webcam. OK. Add global source overlay and then we're going to right click the overlay go to order and move down or you can click control down so that it's between my monitor video and my webcam video 
Now if we go to preview stream and go ahead and hit edit scene, we have to resize the webcam again to match the overlay. Same thing with the overlay as it's going to be smaller than the overall stream. So we got to edit it and just basically make it fit the entire sh scene here. We're going to go ahead, nope, control Z, I got to right click it. If you, if you drag it like that, right click it, hit fit to screen and it will resize it for you. Click back on the webcam and we're just going to make it fit in here. It was very rough. You can line it up however you want. It takes time. You can also use the arrow keys once it's selected. Line it up perfectly. And it's hard to tell since it's repeating here, but it is lined up in the actual overlay. So I'm going to uncheck edit scene. And now my webcam is under my overlay. The only thing we have to do next is set up an image slideshow to show my, show my sponsor slides there. We're going to do that very easily, really, really fast here before the video ends. We're going to go to global sources. We're going to add and we're gonna do an image slideshow. Sponsors. Time between images, I'm gonna make it about five seconds. Fade in and randomize. Then we're gonna find my custom setup slides specifically to fit in that layout. You of course will have to have a graphic designer or yourself make them for you. And now I have a slideshow of all of those, really easy to add to any scene I want. So I'm gonna to go to add, global source and sponsors. And then again, we're going to preview the stream, we're going to hit edit scene, and we're going to move them down here and fit them to our overlay template here. And as you can see, it's randomly going to fade in and out through the different slides on my overlay. And we have a professionally-ish setup stream overlay with sponsor slides, myself, things like that, all set up and ready to go. I do hope this tutorial was helpful for you. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and a comment below and look forward to other OBS tutorial videos. Thanks for watching Epos and Chew. Let's play together. If you enjoyed the video, consider clicking on the screen to contribute to our Patreon campaign. To watch another video, click on one of the video annotations on the screen above. Links are also provided to our website, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. See you next time.